Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Min, and I'm a hobby artist. This is my first time ever posting on YouTube, and I'm really happy that you're watching this. I'll be posting about the artworks that I make. You can check my Instagram account to see more of my work if you like. I'll put the link in the description box below. I think some of you guys here are also traditional illustrators or artists like me and have a huge interest in art supplies. Sometimes I find this a problem because I couldn't control myself when I want to buy things. I was spending a lot of money on buying art supplies that I didn't actually need and ended up not using them for even once. This had been going on for ever since I started this hobby and it took me a lot of time to get a hold of myself. So I think it doesn't matter if you're a professional or amateur artist, once you have put your heart into something, it is very likely that you're gonna put your money into it too. The good news is I'm spending my money more wisely now, but I believe that many of you are still having the addiction of buying unnecessary stuff. To be honest, I'm not a financial expert, but as a person who has been such who's been through such stages of overspending, I think there are some advice that I could give you. So first of all, only buy what you really need. Yeah, we all know this, but we never remember this when our favorite brand is launching new paints, right? And so when thing so when such things happen, I usually challenge myself to mix the same color using the ones that I already own. And when I succeeded, the urge of buying new paints always disappeared because I know that I can recreate the shade myself, so I don't need to buy it anymore. Another way that I often use is to list out other important but expensive things that I also really want to have but I am too broke to buy. So it's like giving yourself the motivation to quit buying these stuff and keep the money to buy other stuff that is more appropriate. And lastly, I think you should try to delete the shopping apps on your phone once in a while if because if you're always thinking about buying then sooner or later you'll end up actually buying. And this will be even easier to happen if the shopping apps are always in front of your face. Therefore, if you can force yourself to do this, then it'll help you restrain your addiction sometimes. So those are my tips on how to prevent yourself from overspending on art supplies. They might sound a little weird, but they really kept me away from wasting my money and it's been a year since I last buy a tube of watercolor. So I hope that they can help you somehow like they did to me. Have fun with painting and we will meet again, hopefully. Bye!